guys, welcome back. I'm going to do another pour using the Floetrol and Satin Enamels for Clouds and Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Same as the one that I did previously, prior to this video. That was a jiggle pour. This one I'm just going to do a straight pour. Same colours because I, I had that gold left over and I had that magenta left over and I didn't want to waste it. I had some white left over. Um, I did make up a little bit more white and I made up a little bit more of the navy, the dioxazine purple and a little bit more of the teal. So exactly the same as I did in the previous video. Um, my white is one part Artist Loft Flow with about a third of the satin enamels and then that was mixed one part white paint mixture to flow troll and this extreme sheen I actually I thickened that up I don't know if I did that I told you the last video but I used yeah I did I used a full 60 grams of this whole bottle to 30 grams of flow troll so half a flow troll so that was nice and thick the liquitex basics I've mixed them all two parts Flow troll to one part paint. So I've got the magenta, the dioxazine purple. This one is called blue turquoise, and I added some phthalo blue to it to darken it up. And then the phthalo blue I added black black to to darken it up to get the navy. And I thought I'd show you this guy. This was this is angel wings, the golden angel, well the golden wings. Uh, I don't know if you can pick up that gold. I'm just going to climb up here and show you. So it's nice and dry now. There we go. Look at the sparkles on it. it. Depends where you hold it, really, whether you get that gold or whether you just get it more of a... See, there, there it looks kind of grey there. But then when you pick it up and put it in the light, you can see that gold shine. So that's it there. Really pretty. Nice and dry. Dried perfectly. So that's it, golden wings. Right, let's get to painting. So here's my white, and I'm just going to put some of the white over the base here. Just a thin coat. Um, what's that? What are you doing in my paint? Hmm? You too. Oh, this is what happens when you use leftover paint hey I made up uh, well I did that pour this morning and now it's oh it's 4 30 in the afternoon so I didn't know what I was going to do with it I probably should have covered it but I just left it sitting out and it's got a little bit of dry gooby bits around the outside and I've kind of got mixed into the paint when I've stirred around the cup when I mixed up a bit more paint but anyway tis what it is I just have to pick them out if I find any. So I decided that giving the whole canvas a light coating like this just works better for me. Um, I can still pour into the middle and then I don't have to worry about pouring the white around the outside and you know trying to do it neatly without messing up my pour that I've just done. So I'm just going to do that. Right, let's move you out of the way. Now, if you saw my last video, you will remember that I said I don't want to use as much white this time and I want to put more navy in because the navy got eaten up. So let's put some white in the bottom. And then, of course, the navy. Now, this is where I want a large amount of navy. It's probably half of it. And then I want some gold. So I want to have lots of little layers this time round and let's put a little bit of white next to the gold so equal amounts of white and gold now we'll go with the dioxazine purple again just a little bit I want lots of layers I think I've been sort of failing last few times not the last one I was happy with the last one but the last maybe ones that I was doing like a month ago I think I was having too much, uh, too, not enough layers, mm, I think. 
So the one I did this morning was beautiful. Happy with that. Back to the navy. Let's do a bit of magenta. I like the magenta and the dioxazine purple together. I think they work really nicely together. And some white. Some more gold. Navy, teal, dioxazine, so I'm putting lots of little layers in now rather than having the less sort of bigger layers that I had previously. Okay, it's getting to the end there, so I'm not going to have much left of those. So just little bits of the white and gold between. And let's finish off the navy. I didn't copy the um, order. Whoa, the big blobs in there from look at that big, big blobby bit. <laughs> Mm. All right, let's not use that. Hopefully none of it fell in there. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I didn't copy the layering from the last one. I'm just doing whatever. However it comes out. just use fresh paint shouldn't I I shouldn't worry about keeping it or I, if I'm not sure I should at least cover it because now I have the problem of um, you know the paint having blobs in it <laughs> I just won't scrape off the see there's another blob there as well I just won't scrape off the sticks so they were sitting in there as well and they've got kind of blobs on the bottom of them too um, do we want any more? No, we probably don't want any more of that. Let's just finish off with this. And then, um, I think that's enough. I was debating whether to have black corners on this paw. But I think I'll have plenty of paint I can always add black afterwards. What if I've got some black and I can put it on top? Um, have I, have I, have I got any black? That's very thin black. I've got black left over from when I did a, um, a ghost pour, but it's really, really thin. So I won't use that just yet. I'll pop it there. We'll see what happens. I just thought it might be nice having a really dark exterior. Right, now, not a jiggle pour this time. I may, I probably will jiggle as I get really close, to, you know, at the end of the cup. But for now, I'm just going to do a straight pour. Get nice and close. Because I don't want the paints kind of going in from up high too much and blending. I'd rather come down nice and close. It's still doing the jiggle. It's kind of folding in on top of itself. You may be able to see that as I'm pouring. It's folding over itself anyway. Here comes the navy. Here comes the white. Oops, blobs. And I think that will be enough white. 
think because all that's left in there is oh all that's left in there is white what do I want a little bit more white come back white mm -hmm. okay a little bit more white that's enough okay Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Now, see, I don't have to worry about painting around there with my white, and because it's a pain when you've already done your your puddle to have to go and paint around it. So let's torch pop those bubbles because uh, that came out pretty fast. So I've got lots of air in there. The bubbles. Okay, that will do for now. Right. So there's my navy. And there's a lovely sea of blue with these pebbles in it. Got my fingerlings, only because of the way that the paint came out and it sort of went and folded on itself. So, um... Do I want to do a circle? Do I want to do a circle? I did a circle last time and it ended up my center was a bit off shape, off center. Let's not do a circle this time. Let's just go to each corner. And back I just want to see what the difference is because that one was the last one was a jiggle paw and I did a big circle and this one's a straight paw and I won't do a big circle and we'll just see what if anything is different Hmm, I think maybe the circle would have been better. I'm kind of losing my shape. Let's go over. Go to the opposite corner now. Maybe not. It's coming good. I'm going to try not to lose that navy. I'd rather lose paint off the other side than lose that navy totally different look I feel from the jiggle paw to the straight paw my fingerlings certainly aren't as defined Okay, now I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to go for that last corner. I've got that navy there that I wanted. So it's very, very different uh, from the, the previous one. Hmm, well, I think I prefer the jiggle paw, that's for sure. Just the definition in the, in the rings and the fingerlings makes a that's made a big difference okay leave it like that Well, I don't think it's as pretty as the previous one. Um, can't win, can you? 
you think that you've got too thick or heavy layers in one so you reduce the the amount in each little layer and then it becomes such a small layer that they they blend more together and you lose the definition of color because they've blended more it's still pretty though it's going to fix my corners oh no you can't have that you need some purple you should do there we go you on there and you can have a little bit on there as well and let's see if we can find some of the darker blue just to go there all right I think we're pretty much done there with the sides so this one well it's very it's very bluey purple, isn't it? It hasn't got a lot of gold in it. Um, I didn't even use up all my gold. Look at that. I put the I put very small layers of gold um, in between the colours, and I guess that's why I haven't got a very strong gold presence in it this time. But it's still pretty. Now the previous one. Um, Oops, it's here. I'll show it to you. There she is. Love it. So there's a lot more gold in that one. Not so much in this one. The white's about the same in the centre. Have got more navy in that one that I wanted. Um, here is previous one that's still a little bit wet in the middle a lot of gold in that one too much gold so yeah they're all pretty they're just different hey no right or wrong when you're doing these although <laughs> yeah I should have put a little bit more gold in this one <laughs> never mind I was just using up my leftover paint I didn't even use up all my gold. I don't know why. I thought I was putting too much in. All right, let's have a look. Get a close up. Let me turn my light off. So I'm happy that I got that nice dark area around the white the contrast between the white and the navy i love that you can see the gold shimmering there in the magenta shimmer shimmer so once it dries that will really sparkle um you yeah, haven't got as defined fingerlings they are there but kind of looks like fish scales <laughs> They're not, certainly not as well defined as when I do my jiggle paw. So, but it was worth a try, you know. I, I wanted to see how it would differ, and now I know. So, still got the gold in there, but you can see how the gold's just blended into the other colours. It's just given the whole thing a bit of a shimmer. You can't actually see gold uh, stripes, really because my gold was too thin well not too thin but I didn't have as, uh, enough in there in between my layers so there it is hope you like that one hey Bronte baby what you doing what you doing <laughs> I still really like this one I did this this morning I didn't video it and I can't even remember what I did and I love it <laughs> I should just video everything shouldn't I because I don't know what I did can't remember but I love it I really like that one too that bottom section there it's really unusual yeah I should just video everything shouldn't I then I don't have to worry about how I did it because I can't remember I know this one was much thinner paint 
so I don't really have fingerlings. I've got more wispies on the ends there because uh, the paint was a lot thinner. So those were just little little practices this morning, but oh, I love that. I have to try and work out how I did that. Anyway, back to this one. This one's just not as bright. All right, I will leave it there. Thanks for watching. And I will, no doubt, see you for the next one. Bye for now.